so now the question is so we have to count the number of all binary search trees that are possible to construct using n numbers which are all unique and let them be 1 2 3 4 till n or any a1 a2 a3 a k till a n where what happens is a1 is less than a2 a2 is less than a3 a3 is less than a k and like that so all are unique elements okay so now we are asked to construct how many possible number of binary search trees are there so of course if we see so if i have just one node so i can just say that okay one this is the only possible binary search trees if i have zero node if i have no element so it is basically a null binary search tree is there for n is equal to 2 i can take one as the root then one and two as its right child this is one binary search tree and two as the root and one as its left child is a another binary search tree so now let's take the example of three numbers so if i have elements let's say one two three so i can have one as the root then i have one as the root then i can have two as its right child then three as right child of two so this is one case then one is the root then three is its right child and then 2 is the left child of 3 so this one this one or for node 1 as root if node 2 is the root this is the only possible binary search tree and if node 3 is the root so this left left 3 2 1 is one possibility then left and right 3 1 and 2 is another possibility so we see that there are five possible binary search tree so now let's see so we are we getting some pattern okay so we will try to see so one thing we saw was that at least i will have for all possible cases i will have all the numbers at its root one time and one more thing which we can see is if i have a k as the root and then a1 a2 a3 all are less than a k so they will form part of the left subtree and a a k plus 1 a k plus 2 till a n will form part of the right subtree and this is something recursive again here this way and i can choose any of the a1 a2 till a k minus 1 as the root and try out so this is a recursive problem so let's see so if i have one as the root so again so here i will have null because there is no element smaller than one and i'm taking the case of i have four elements one two three four okay then in the right i can have a subtree that can have elements two three four as the members so now again this is a subtree and we saw that okay if i have three elements then from here i know that okay there are five possibilities are there of constructing binary search tree so here on the left there is one possibility on the right there are five possibilities if i construct two as the root then on the left i can have only one so this is one possible way only of size one sub binary search tree and on the right there can be two members three comma four okay so then here with size two there can be two possibilities let's see now case of three as the root then on the left it can have one and two in the subtree and on the right i can have just four so there is two into one possibility and if 4 is the root then on the left i can have 1 2 3 on the right i have a null subtree so one way and here five possible ways so this is 1 into 5 this is 1 into 2 2 into 1 and 5 into 1 so it is 5 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 14 so we see that there are 14 possible binary search trees that are there using four nodes okay so now just to make the concept very clear we make it so c0 is 1 the count of trees for number of elements 0 c1 is 1 c2 is 2 c3 is 5 and c4 is 14 so let's try just for c is equal to 5 very fast so i can have 1 as the root then there's nothing in the left because it nothing is there then on the right subtree i can have 2 3 4 5 so I know that okay if I construct a binary search trees using four elements I can have 
14, 14 possible binary search trees here. So this side I can have one possible subtree. This side I can have 14. And because all of them are different, subtrees construct different subtrees. So it is 1 into 14. Here if I have 1 in the left, 2 as the root, then I can have 3, 4, 5 as the right subtree. So this is 1 into 5 because with 3 elements I can have 5 different binary search trees. So 3 as the root I can have 1 and 2 here and 4 and 5 on the right. So 2 into 2 is a number of trees. With 4 as the root I can have 1, 2, 3 and here I can have 5. So it is 5 into 1 and similarly 5 as the root everything will be on the left, right there will be nothing. So a null subtree so 14 into 1. So this way we see it is a summation of all those counts. Okay. So now let's see the code. We write a code and before that let's see. So count of n which means the if we have let's say n elements in the binary search trees then it will be equal to summation k is equal to 1 to n count of. So on the left side I can have if kth node is the root then I can have count of k minus 1 on the left into count of n minus k element subtree on the right and this will be summed up from k is equal to 1 to n. So this is the most important formula that you need to understand and then we can write a code for this one which is count trees. So let's see. So this is count trees. I pass the number of elements here. All the elements so like a1, a2, a3 till a of n okay so i pass so these are all unique so count trees if i have n elements so if n is 0 or 1 it is a trivial case base case i will return 1 else what i do i make a sum is equal to 0 left is 0 right is 0 now this is the root element which one i want first element second element so all cases i will cover for int k is equal to 1 to n all of them can be the root and what happens left will become now count of trees k minus 1 because there will be k count of trees k minus 1 on the left on the right there will be count trees n minus k and I will make sum is equal to sum plus left into right for all the possible roots okay and this will return me the count of trees so I hope you understand this problem this is a combinatorial problem of counting how many trees are possible and if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, make my video favorite and share it among your friends on Facebook.